Hey Lions, thanks for joining me for the second part of our lesson. We are going to practice, well, I'm gonna introduce you to a few new sight words. We'll practice and review our previous sight words. We'll do some spelling and then we'll read a new story. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So remember our sight words are words we need to know by sight or automatically or have them memorized by heart. Um, because a lot of these words don't follow our phonics rules and they're just used so frequently, you don't want to have to take the time to sound them out anyway. So the first word is who. Who is joining me for this lesson? Let's spell it. W-H-O, who. Good. And remember, we will review these words over and over again, so you will be automatic with them. The next word is great. You are doing a great job. Let's read it. Great. Spell G-R-E-A-T. Read it. Great. And don't forget, I should hear you reading, spelling, and reading with me. That's how you're going to remember the words. Um, the practice is meant to be repeated over and over again. And when you read, spell, read with me, you're hearing it, you're seeing it, and you're getting extra practice. The next new word is today. Today is a great day to read. Today. Okay? Do you see two and day in here today all right let's read it together today spell t-o-d-a-y read today now let's review some of our um, previous sight words i want you to read spell read with me work spell w-o-r-k work good job <clears throat> Word, W-O-R-D, word. Remember, this is why we have to look at all of the letters because these two words, they're the exact same except for the final letter. So a good reader looks at all the letters. Water, W-A-T-E-R, water. Read, spell, read with me. Again. A-G-A-I-N, again. Gone, G-O-N-E, gone. Mother, M-O-T-H-E-R, mother. <clears throat> C, S-E-E-C. So this is an example of our vowel pair that we learned about. <clears throat> some. S-O-M-E, some. Little. L-I-T-T-L-E, little. Read, spell, read with me. Goes. G-O-E-S, goes. She, S-H-E, she. R, A-R-E, R. Here, H-E-R-E, -E, here. Give, G-I-V-E, give. Oops. What, W-H-A-T, what. Come, C-O-M-E, come. Read, her, spell, H-E-R, read, her. Don't forget, read, spell, read with me. Y, W-H-Y, Y, so that you learn the words. <laughs> have, H-A-V-E, have. Could. C-O-U-L-D, could. Last word, want. Spell W-A-N-T, want. Good job. Okay, we're going to spell now. So if you do not have paper and pencil, go ahead and pause the video while you get your materials. And if you have it, we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, the first word we're going to spell is wheel. Let's sound it. W eel 
wheel. So wheel begins like the wheezing wail. I wonder if I have my picture handy. I do. Of the wheezing wail. So we know WH makes the W sound. W wheel. W eel. I hear a long E. And this and wheel, a vowel pair is how you spell wheel. So we know it can be E-E -E or E-A. So if you aren't sure, try both spelling and see which one looks right. W eel. I know it's a vowel pair. So in this case, it's the E-E -E that makes the long E sound. So if you weren't sure if it was E-E, -E, you could have tried spelling with the E-A as well and then see which one looks right. Notice the H and the L, they're tall, they are tall letters. They go to the top line. The rest of the letters just go to the midline. Wheel. Patch. Patch. Um, you probably went to the pumpkin patch when you were in kindergarten. Let's sound it. P -atch. Patch. Good job. Let's go ahead and spell that. P I hear a short A. P Sounds like the apple, the picking apple. Patch. I hear ch at the end of the word. And I am looking here. Oh, here it is. Patch. So in this case, it is these three letters. So CH can make the ch sound at the beginning or the end of a word. TCH will only be the spelling at the end of a word. And in the word patch, it actually uses TCH. So the digraph, TCH, to spell patch. Remember, a digraph is when you have two or more letters that make one sound. P patch, patch. Good job. <clears throat> the next word is those. Let's sound it. Th those, those. So let's spell those. I hear th like that thing, another one of our digraphs. Th, oh, I hear long O. Th, oh, s, hear the s sound. And so to make the long O, um, I know I must need a silent E, otherwise the O would be a short vowel sound. So let me add the silent E to the end of the word so that we have the long O. Those. Good job. So do you see how you can use what you know about syllable types to help you spell a word? Pretty cool. Okay, sleep. I'm tired. I can't wait to go to sleep. Let's sound it. Sleep. Sleep. Let's go ahead and spell that. Sl. I hear that blend, that sl blend, like slow, slip. Sleep, sleep, I hear a long E sound. And we know there's three ways that we've learned that we can make long E, silent E, E-E, -E, or E-A. It is a vowel pair. I will tell you it's a vowel pair to make the long E sound in the word sleep. So that means either E-E -E or E-A. So if you aren't sure um, if it's E-E -E or E-A, try them both and see which one looks right. Sleep. Sleep. E-E -E is the correct vowel pair to use for the word sleep. And the L goes to the top line. The P goes down below the, the baseline. Sleep. <clears throat> Okay, now the last two words we're going to spell are sight words. The first one is want. I just want you to do your very best. W-A-N-T, want. 
Let's go ahead and spell that. And as you spell it, say the letters. W A N T. We like to say the letters that way you see it, hear it, and you feel it while you're writing it. Want. So the T goes to the top line. The rest of the letters just go to the midline. So when we practice our spelling, we're also going to want, to want to make sure that we are making our letters correctly. So we want to practice neat handwriting as well, um, because you need to pay attention to whether or not the letter goes to the top line, the mid line, or below. Um, and we want to get in the habit of making the letter the right way. <clears throat> it's hard to break a habit if you learn it the wrong way. So we want to learn it the right way right from the beginning. The last word we're going to spell is could. C-O-U-L-D, could. Go ahead and spell it on your paper. C-O-U-L-D, could. The L and D go to the top line. The rest of the letters just go to the midline. Okay, the last thing we're going to do is read our new story. Remember, stories are controlled stories, so they only have the sounds and the sight words we've learned so far. Okay, and it's a good idea for you to pause the video and practice reading the story on your own um, the first time, and then that way you can go at your own pace because it's really good practice of applying the six syllable types there's rules when you're decoding a new word. So this one is called The Story of Cat, Chapter 7. Can we keep them? Remember in the last story, they found the kittens with a note that said they were free to a good home. <clears throat> okay. Rick asked, why would someone want to give these kittens up? They are so cute. They look very clean. Mom said, I will read the back of the note. It says, I have 16 cats. That's a lot of cats. I cannot take care of any more. These kittens are six weeks old. They can eat meat. The vet gave them all their shots. Their tags are on their necks. Jane said, we could give the kittens a good home. Why can't we keep them? We can feed them meat and fish. Rick and I will take good care of them every week. Mom asked, we have cat. Do we need more cats? <clears throat> Remember, go ahead and pause it so you can practice reading this on your own once before we read it together. Rick said, I think Cat needs a kitten to take care of and play with. They can play hide and seek. They can all sleep in the same basket. They can lick each other clean. Dad and Mom said, okay, the kittens can live with us. Cat does want a kitten. We think you will feed them. They all went home. Rick and Jane rode their bikes. Dad had to carry the basket of kittens for a mile. Just before they got home, the kittens woke up and looked out of the basket. Cat was on the gate. She saw the kittens. Mom said, Cat, you wanted a kitten. We have two. Oh, I bet the cat is going to be so happy. Remember, she's been sad because she wants a kitten. And I just noticed, um, notice cat has a capital C and it's in the middle of a sentence. Like here, it's a capital C, but it's the beginning of a sentence. So it has to be. Same thing here. But here, cat is in the middle of a sentence and has a capital letter. That means the cat's name is cat. Okay. Um, so I can't wait to see what happens. I hope Kat is happy that she finally has some kittens. All right, Lions, I will see you tomorrow. I hope you have a great day. Thanks for joining me for another lesson. You did a great job. Good work. I'll see you tomorrow. <clears throat>